Now, of course, sometimes you want to not only click a button and open an alert in your parent component, you want to pass some data with it, potentially some data you inserted in an input field. So let's do this next. Let's say the name of my header, this home link, so if that is home or something else, is something which should get set through the user. So I want to set this or I want to be able to change this. Now in this video, we'll cover a lot of the things we learned in the previous videos like state, component interaction and so on. So let's start by implementing a link between the index.js, the app component and the home component. In the home component, I want to be able to change my home link. So the name or the text of the link in the header. Therefore, I will create a new function in my app component, which I will name on change link name, something like that, whatever you like. On change link name. And this takes an argument of new name because of course I need to know what the new name should be. Now in here I want to change the name and for that of course I will need set state. So I will first add a constructor to set an initial state. This state should be a JavaScript object where I have my home link key and that should be home initially. Then here I'm no longer passing a pure string, but instead I'm passing this state home link. Oops, home link, like that. Then in the onChange link name method, I can call this stat state. I'm still in the app component here, and I'm setting the state such that home link now is the new name. So with that, my parent component, the app component, is prepared. I'm using set state to well, actually then trigger a re-rendering of the UI, of course, and to be able to actually change the home link. And now I need to call this onChangeLinkName method from my home component. Now, in order to be able to do this, I will pass it as a prop. So I will just split this over multiple lines so that it gets a bit easier to read. And then here I want to pass change link. So this will be the method which can be executed in my home component later on. And this should of course refer to this on change link name. But since I used this keyword in on change link name, I need to bind this here or use the ES6 syntax I showed you a couple of videos ago, which you can see in the home component here on the other button. So with that, I'm passing a reference to this uh, method to my home component and I can use it there. So let's go to the home component then. Here I will also create a new method which I call on change name and in this method I will call this props change link I guess was it change link name then maybe I should name this on change link to on ch just change link gets executed and I want to pass this dot state dot home link. I have yet to create this field in my state here. Why am I outsourcing this or creating this in an extra function or method? I could execute it in my code down here too. Yeah, that's right. I could execute this line here in my code down here too. That would work. But I don't want to do that. I want to, well, make it a bit easier to read and not put all my logic in the render method here, which is something you basically you shouldn't do. So with that, on change link is set up and I can then create a new button, which allows me to change this. Change header link, like that. That's my new button. And here I'll add my classes, button, button, primary as always. And of course, my on click listener, where I want to execute this on change link and bind this again, since I'm using the this keyword in the on change link method. So with that, I would kind of change my, my link, but this state home link is currently undefined 
because in my state I only have age and status and not home link. So let's add home link here. Home link could be changed link initially. So with that, I just saw that I also need to call super here in my index.js file, in the app component. I need to, you always need to call super first if you're extending from a class, forget this, I forgot this. So now we see it's working. And if I click on change header link, watch this home text here. It got changed. We changed it through our home component by executing a button here and then executing a method in the app component, changing the state there and passing the new state as a prop to our stateless component header. So there, a lot of things are coming together, which we learned in the last video. Changing state, cross-component component communication, and finally, updating the props in a stateless component. And as you see, stateless does not mean that, that, that it doesn't get re-rendered if the props change. It only means that this component itself has no access to state, but we can change the state from outside of it. That's of course important to understand. So with that, we have this chain set up, but of course still we don't have an, or currently we don't have an input field where we could change it. We're not, we're only able to change it to, well, changed linked, changed link, because that is the initial state for home link I set up in my home component. So the next step, of course, is to add an input field and allow the user to define what should get changed.